New Scientist just came out with an absolutely horrific report recently about uh, sea level rise and climate change. So let's get right into it. New Scientist reports, quote, it is too late to stop the seas rising at least 16 feet. And without immediate intervention, sea levels will rise 65 feet. Realize, this this isn't some sort of joke, okay? This, this isn't liberal bias. No, 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 this is for real, okay? This is new scientists, they're not joking. Straight up, the seas are going to rise 16 feet. And unless we do something about it soon, and we won't, I guarantee you that, we're talking 65 feet rise in sea levels. No matter what we do about it, if we decide tomorrow that enough is enough, more, no more fossil fuel emissions, no more destroying the environment, tomorrow we decide to cut all that junk out, the seas are going to still rise 16 feet. And these are climate change deniers. They say, so what? So what? Okay, you know what? Quote, New Scientist also reports, most of Florida and many other low-lying cities around the world are doomed to go under. I repeat, doomed to go under. Now, I want you to fully grasp the magnitude of this, okay? Most of Florida is now gone. Many major cities across the globe are now gone. Matter of fact, here are the statistics. According to Climate Central, 150 million people currently live on land that will be either submerged or face chronic flooding by 2100. Now here is the list of cities that will be completely gone or partially gone with this magnitude of sea level rise. You ready? New York, Miami, Sacramento, Stockton, Boston, New Orleans, Jacksonville, Virginia Beach, Norfolk, Hialeah, and Tampa. Matter of fact, here's the map of the southeast with just 6 meter sea level rise. And this is completely reasonable. 16 foot sea level rise is completely contingent on if we act right now on climate change. And so far, our history says we definitely will not. Well, there's South Florida. That's millions of people right there. There's Jacksonville, there's Tampa, there's Tallahassee, areas of Houston, southern Louisiana is completely gone, Norfolk, Virginia Beach, and of course southern Louisiana includes New Orleans. That's another few million people right there. Let's check out New York with six meter sea level rise. That's, that's large parts of all five boroughs. Manhattan, Queens, Bronx, Brooklyn, Staten Island. Long Island is getting completely throttled. There's another few million people right there. In all, 17 million people would be affected by six meter sea level rise in America. 85 million people in China. Five million in the UK. Matter of fact, across the globe, 314 million people affected by 6 meter sea level rise. Across the globe. And this could happen in a matter of a couple centuries, maybe even less. With people living longer than ever and all these great technological advances. Your children and your grandchildren, they will, this is a fact, they will be dealing with this terrible, terrible disaster. It's all thanks to the fools that for decades and decades have denied that this planetary crisis that was happening right before our eyes and was backed up by countless examples of empirical data stopping any serious action being done on climate change. Thanks to you, the largest mass migration in history will now occur. Who knows what traumatic events will occur from that? Millions are undoubtedly going to be left behind as the seas devour their land. Thanks. Thanks so much for destroying the planet. Mother Earth and the human race deeply appreciate it. God, man. It makes me sick. The time has largely run out. The time ran out, man. The effects are already here. California dropped. Historic tropical cyclones, water crises across the world, and as we heard today, it's only going to get worse. 16 feet sea level rise definitely within the next two centuries or less according to this report. And if we do not act soon, which we won't, guarantee you, up to 65 foot level sea rise. There was another report recently by NASA. 
saying so-called mega droughts could become the new normal across the western half of the U.S. That's hundreds of millions of people. That California drought, where nearly all the water is now gone. It's so bad, the governor even said the people had to cut their water use by 25%. That would look like a freaking Noah's Ark and a 40-day flood compared to this. Temperatures continue to skyrocket. It's only going to increase. This is an absolute disaster. You're talking wars fought over water, mass migrations as people move away from sea level rise and droughts and natural disasters. Billions of dollars that has to be spent to recover from these effects. But we're still sitting here wondering, should we do something about it? Still acting like this is a freaking debate? There's no argument! The time has already largely passed to act. Its effects are here, man, and they're quickly worsening. Act now, or let your children and grandchildren pay for it forever. That's simple. Think about that. That doesn't just affect us. This affects all the future humans down the line. So when they look back at history, as they see their planet is absolutely destroyed, what are they going to say? They're going to call us a bunch of greedy fools. We were so focused on getting a quick buck by destroying our environment more and more that we ultimately killed the planet. How selfish and greedy is that? How do we fix this? <laughs> well, we can only do so much now. The effects are already here and will continue to worsen no matter what we do at this point. Now, if, if, if you don't want the earth to wither up and burn, I advise us to act right stinking now. In the use of fossil fuels. Tomorrow. But we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, man. I I, I usually like being in a, a upbeat mood. I don't like dealing with drama. But this is the reality, okay? We, we've got to face it. We've got to. The planet is already screwed. You just saw it in this report. Please don't screw it up more. Please, act now. Switch all of our energy sources to renewable energy sources. It's so simple. Solar panels are now just as cheap in terms of electricity costs in some other countries. The first all-electric truck just took the road in Germany. Hybrid cars and all-electric cars are now market competitive in terms of livestock and cattle, which is a huge, huge source of greenhouse gas emissions. They are now so many alternatives to dairy and meat. So if we want to fix it, we could fix it tomorrow. But big oil, big coal, big meat, and dairy, they own a huge, huge grasp on our lawmakers. So we have got to get people in office who can help make that switch. And of course, people who are not bought off by big money interests and can see some common sense. If not, the planet will be destroyed. That simple. From what we've learned today, we're already in some deep, deep, deep trouble. Let's try digging ourselves out before we dig an even deeper hole and our planet will be destroyed.